Hello, welcome to Universal Interiors. We are here doing some more hair, um, little hair treatments. Um, we keep running out of time in these hairstyles. <laughs> so, so we keep doing more hairstyles and taping them. And so we're just showing you some more um, Pinterest ideas that we found. So this, what I'm doing on Maddie is I'm creating three braids and then I'm going to twist the braids in a bun shape and so that's what I'm doing here. So this is uh, my three sections here and this is what your braid will you know, be like and then this is how it twists in the end. So I'll first keep, I'm gonna keep braiding here and this is my final braid for this hairstyle. Um, you know, one thing I got to thinking about hairstyles is it's really, you know, you can, um, you know, use your imagination with your hairstyles and it's all about your attitude. It's all about how you feel about how your hair looks and... You can rock anything if you right, want it. Right, right, right. It's just how the confidence that you're walking around and... That's a good point. You know, I got to thinking about that when I'm... So let me get this straight. We're doing three different sections of braids, right? Yes. So here's right. my final braid. And go as far to the bottom as you can get on the braid. And then just put a rubber band around it. Here we go. I'm trying to do this fast so we don't run out of time again. Wow. Okay, perfect. So then what I'm doing is taking the braid and wrapping it around. And I don't want to see this rubber band, so I'm kind of tucking it under like that and twisting. And then you can also just kind of play around with the braid and make it messy too. You, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect braid. Okay. And then bobby pins are our friends today. So we're going to put some more bobby pins in. And I can usually, you know, two to three bobby pins can hold this. So can you do this stuff to your own hair? Yeah, I, I find it easier to do it to my hair versus somebody else's hair. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. yeah. But I'm, and Jocelyn's hair. I'm just used to how Jocelyn's hair is. So again, I'm twisting this. Here, we'll turn you a little bit more so we make sure we can see. Twisting it, hiding this rubber band behind the braid, and then you just kind of tuck those loose ends in and then you can secure them down with the bobby pins too so that you hide those little flyaway guys okay some products that we've used today or have used in our hairstyles is of course bobby pins i think we buy these by the truckloads because sure, we're yeah there i got them Your assistant um we buy a lot of bobby pins to because you, I don't know, when, when, when you take your hairstyle out, you seem to forget where you put them and then you lose them. I, I find know. little bundles of <laughs> bobby pins a lot. And rubber bands, we buy these a lot too. Okay, and so just other th accessories, um, flower, headbands, scarves. I think we're gonna have Uni talk a little bit about scarves too. So we've got the three braids twisted and now, and you can mess that up to make it fuller. And then I'll, I'm just gonna add this band. Make sure I don't get your ears. And add that right like that. Cute. There you go. That's cute. All right. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry, you can't see. You, you better can, go check it out. You can go run in the bathroom now and look at it. Okay, now we better bring Jocelyn up here again. And with Jocelyn's hair, I started this ahead of time because it takes a little bit longer and I'll explain that in a second. Um, first what you do is take the t a top section out and you just want to just clip that out of the way. Then what I want to create is a French braid coming from the back side and I braid it upwards. So to, because I can't do a French braid on her with her sitting upright like this. I had her lay on a chair and lay her head over the chair and then I could start the French braid from this way. 
the so yeah so you just do the French braid and then once it gets this works best on long hair and then you run you know stop it about right behind the ear and then just continue on with the braid so it looks like this okay so the French braid part is done now what we are going to do with this top part is we're just going to create a messy bun and so we take all the hair that was left over do we got it all here oh i missed a piece right there okay so i'm trying to talk and do this at the same time but wow <laughs> <laughs> multitasking at the best here okay so we gathered all that hair and we are going to put it in a pony and girls teenagers these days are so good at this messy bun I see it all the time and it's always cute you know what you should do a little bit this is a very hard thing to the messy bun well so watch closely well <laughs> you just kind of take it and you twist it around and this is one way to do it and I just twist it like this and I keep twisting and then I'll just um, play with it so it kind of lays down a little more um, so it doesn't go like straight out this way so um, this is probably a semi messy bun and then of course take um, either these clips and clip it down or the bobby pins again. So that's one way, you just kind of twist it around and then bobby pin it. Otherwise, I think Jocelyn, how you do it a lot is you just take a second rubber band and you start, you do, do one loop and then you take another section and then you do another loop into the hair until okay. it's like this messy and then you pull it out like that so you're kind of doing you're doing more ponies but you're only doing like a half a pony and then you take more hair you know okay. and again messy is good <laughs> messy messy is nothing the thing. matters then you take this braid right here pull it upwards and then twist it around and then secure the end down with a bobby pin secure the the strands and it would be nice to get into, we could, you know, um, scarfs and accessorizing with scarfs, but wow, it goes by so fast. When another we, show, another, another dollar. Yes, exactly. We'll Very have to do cute. like 101 ways to tie a scarf. <laughs> and then you can just accessorize and put some. Um, Let's accessorize. Yes. We got to make this complete. I could put a black one in here. There we go. So cute. We better give a spin because this is really cool. Like that little, we got a few flyaways. And you can create some more, bring some more hair down and then just do some soft curls down the side, so. Our lovely assistant. There we go. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I hope that we're giving you a lot of great ideas. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you, yeah. models. Have a nice day.